Bellachara offers seniors beautiful apartment living. It's a special secure place to belong, providing choice, freedom and professional care. Each spacious apartment comes with an ensuite, veranda, security and on-call nurses. Entertain your guests in the elegantly appointed shared spaces. Our vibrant activities program will keep your mind and body active. Bella Chara welcomes new residents. Call us today on 52025300 for a personal tour. Welcome back to News Geelong and the world of sport. Continuing with the world of lawn bowls, last Saturday saw Queenscliff Gold move into the top four with a solid win over Heighton. News Geelong spoke with one of the Queenscliff Gold's winning skippers, Les Orty, following his rink solid win. Westerly wind here at the Heighton Bowls Club didn't worry Queenscliff Gold. They've taken out the points over Heighton. And Les Lorty joins us. A good win for Queenscliff Gold, Les. Yeah, very good. Uh, very handy lead uh, win, actually. Uh, earlier in the season, you'd been sitting on top of the ladder, Queenscliff Gold, unbeaten. Then you got rolled down at uh, RSL. And Queenscliff Blue have then come through and sit on currently on top of the ladder. But after you win today over Heighton, we could see both Queenscliff Blue and Queenscliff Gold in the top four. Yes, yeah, very good. How did you feel the, uh, the grass was running today, although it's synthetic up here at Heighton? Yeah, it ran pretty well, uh, but the ditch, rink, ditch side wasn't all that well. A bit rough. And uh, I noticed in your side you've got uh, two of the Division One leading ladies of uh, Geelong Bowls playing uh, for the Queenscliff Gold team. Yeah, they're both stars and I'm glad of it. <laughs> <laughs> they reckon uh, they help you push it along a bit. How long have you been playing bowls yourself, Les? Oh, near on 50 years, I suppose. And, of course, uh, your lovely wife is also a very fine bowler. She is. Yeah, she is. She's uh, played in the state side. Who's a better one when it comes to one-on-one, uh, -on -one, you or her? Oh, I taught her what she knows, so... <laughs> we'll take claim to that. But a good all-round win uh, because Heighton was sitting in fifth position uh, above you by five uh, shots. You've now uh, taken a good uh, a good win today. So uh, going into, what, one more round before the Christmas break and uh, then uh, 2013 for the run home. Yes, uh, it's not might be easy to run home on a winning win, uh, winning win, win anyway. So uh, but it'll take a while to get back in. How did you find the weather conditions to you today? I mean, we, we had uh, pretty heavy uh, rain through the late in the week, but uh, the sunshine came out, the wind blowing from the west. How do you like to play in these types of conditions? No, I didn't mind it. I reckon it was quite good, actually. It was comfortable. And, of course, your ma marvellous uh, setup down there at Queenscliff. Uh, very, very good indeed as, as well. So a bit like playing at home? Yeah, lovely little spot. And the Heighton Bowls Club uh, always put on a, a great day for uh, for local bowls in Division 1. Of course, we've also got the Premier Boys across there, but uh, the v Division 1 boys showing the way. Yeah, this has always been a major club uh, for, for everybody, I think. Two of the Queenscliff Gold Stars from the winning Les Orty rink were two ladies, Diane Roberts and Debbie Handley, who were also very pleased with the Queenscliff Gold win. Diane, first of all, congratulations and... Uh, you and Debbie certainly form a strong combination. Thank you, yes, we enjoy playing together. And uh, Debbie, how long have you been involved in the great game? Uh, this is my eighth season and uh, my first season with Queenscliff. Oh, eight years uh, and you're, still, you're up in Division One, so you're doing very well, particularly against some of these well, stronger-minded men. How do you find the battle of the minds? Fine, no problem at all. No problem at all? No. And Diane, how long have you been participating? Oh, off and on for about 20 years. I started about 1991 and didn't play for about six years and then I've come back and played at Queenscliff. I started at Port Arlington and now I'm at Queenscliff. So the, uh, the, the Bellarine coastline is, uh, is still very much part uh, of, of both of your bloods as far as the game of bowls are concerned? Absolutely. No, it's really enjoyable. And what do you think of today's greens? Uh, they, they ran uh, fairly well. Uh, the wind was uh, difficult. But um, other than that, had to uh, just try and put them in there. And Diane, Queenscliff Gold started off very well early in the season, uh, winning, uh, I think, an unbeaten run of about five or six games here before RSL uh, chopped in and uh, defeated you down at the RSL Greens. Now you're fighting back. Uh, could see both Queenscliff clubs playing in the uh, final series for this year. Uh, yes, that would be interesting with the two teams in the finals, but um, we'll be out there trying, just like they will be, so the best team will win on the day, but uh, we hope to get to the finals. We're trying our hardest. 
Debbie, is there any uh, real much intra-club rivalry between the Queenscliff Blue and Queenscliff Gold? No, I, th I think it's um, very competitive. Um, of course, Blue would, wants to be the uh, premier team. They're the top side. Um, I think it's a friendly rivalry. A good friendly rivalry. Once you get on that green, uh, it's uh, who can get it closest that matters, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> we definitely want to uh, beat them. <laughs> And Debbie, uh, sorry, Diane, what, what do you see as the side strength as, uh, as an overall team of 16? Because we've got to remember that there's more than just one rink that plays every Saturday in Division 1. Oh, I think everybody gets in there and does their job. Um, each does their own thing and they work towards winning. And, yeah, you just got to try and get closer, closer than your uh, competitor. So... Uh, and Debbie, I noticed on one other rink uh, a young man uh, playing lead and uh, he was bowling very well, putting in uh, some very good bowls first up off the mat. Yes, he's a very good bowler. In very, I don't know him very well as this is my first season, but he puts in some great bowls. News Geelong, Friday the 21st of December 2012. As we go to a break, we'll return with more sport and weather after this. <laughs> 